Throughout history, there have been many individuals who have contributed to the mass media industry through books, newspapers, magazines, recordings, radio, movies, television, and the internet. My goal in this presentation is to share with you 10 people who I think have made a significant impact in promoting mass media. The first person who has made a great contribution to mass media is Thomas Edison. He invented the first phonograph in 1877 as he was working on the telegraph. He realized that movement of paper tape through a machine enabled him to record sound. He used a large needle or a stylus on a cylinder that was made of tin foil, which allowed him to talk into the machine. He spoke the words, Mary had a little lamb, which created the first sound recording. Edison's discovery is proof that without the ability to record sounds, we would not have music today. A simple recording of a phrase enabled individuals to think outside the box and record sounds and music for future generations. The second person who contributed to mass media is Guigliamo Marconi. He started experimenting in 1985 with wireless signals. <clears throat> he was able to have a wireless signal stretch one and a half miles wide, which led to him creating the wireless receiver in 1902, and he used the first radio in 1932. He was able to test out his invention of the radio throughout his service in the Army. He showed that he could commun communicate through sound waves between ships in order to keep people updated on what was happening. Marconi's invention of the wireless radio led to the expansion of mass media today and the ability for us to have news, music, and talk shows at our fingertips. The third person who I think contributed greatly to mass media is Richard Wright. In 1948, he used his honesty and confidence to create books about real issues that led up to the African-American Civil Rights Movement in 1955, which sought justice for those who did not have a voice. Wright's contribution to book publishing enabled diversity in the media industry. While he was not a pioneer of books becoming published, he was one of the first African-American individuals to be able to write fiction with a meaning to represent true stories that he actually lived through. Without his recollection of racial issues, media might have only portrayed a one-sided worldview. The fourth person who I believe has made a great contribution to mass media is Benjamin Franklin. Franklin was a natural born inventor. He spent his time inventing the lightning rod, the public library, a fire company, police services, and the first magazine, which he published in 1743. The general magazine and historical chronicles were his inventions, and these magazines covered topics that were out of the ordinary for the time period, and some might say that they were a little bit too out of character but they did prove to be entertaining and educational. Even though these magazines failed after six issues, Franklin showed society the importance of sharing information, even if it was hard. Magazines are an important part of society today. People can find magazines on almost any aspect of culture they wish to be informed about. The next person who I believe contributed a lot of information to mass media is Jane Gray Swisshelm. She first published her um, column, The Abolitionist, in an anti-slavery newspaper, the Pittsburgh Saturday Visitor. This, news, this article reached many states and territories, and it was actually came about during the time of the Women's Rights Convention, which occurred in 1848 as well. Swisshelm wrote about strong political issues in a very mainstream newspaper, which opened the door for women's voices to be heard. She advocated an end to slavery and promoted women's rights, both of which she were, was passionate about. The newspaper medium was an early catalyst promoting social change. Topics were discussed and promoted through social, social change, and today newspaper articles still cover diverse issues. Peter Goldmark was another individual who I believe promoted mass media in our world today. He invented the long playing record in 1947 and then went on to create the first live color television in 1953. His idea for the long playing record, or LP, was derived from his lack of enthusiasm with how previous ma machines, such as the phonograph, relayed sound recordings. 
Goldmark created the LP, which could actually play for 23 minutes straight without needing somebody to readjust the machine. He loved music and that was no secret. He also felt that vehicles needed some way for people to listen to music, so he created the Highway Hi-Fi, a music system especially built for cars. Today, the recording industry is something young adults are extremely interested in. People often have music on their handheld iPod, but CDs are derived from a recording similar to an LP record, which offers individuals many choices for listening to music. Another individual who contributed greatly to mass media is David Sarnoff. He joined the RCA, or Radio Corporation of America, as the general manager in 1921. He decided that he needed to make radio a household reality, and he was dedicated to bringing his idea to life. Snarnoff knew that having interesting programming was a necessary factor in selling his idea for a radio box, so he gathered music, news, and sports all together to help RCA's radio sales increase. Because of David Sarnoff's de desire for an invention of a household radio that worked wirelessly, Radio Today encompasses the idea of wireless satellite radios, such as XM radio, which people can listen to from multiple devices. Edward Moybridge was another contributor to mass media. He agreed to a bet of trying to get a record to, to record a horse's four feet flying off the ground as it went around a track. This required Moybridge to use 12 cameras to get the perfect shots as the horse raced without making it seem like there was time in between. This was this led to the first movie. After this was successful, Moybridge added more and more cameras to his collection and in 1882 a motion picture camera was created. Without Edward Moybridge's contribution to the movie industry, we would not have the action-filled scenes that we enjoy because our eyes would never be able to keep up. Ted Turner was another contrib contributor to mass media. Turner started CNN, or the Cable News Network, in 1979. Turner actually grew up in his father's business and showed successful business strengths, which led to him eventually becoming a successful broadcast leader. Turner's company also includes Cartoon Network, TNT, and Turner Classic Movie Channels, just to name a few. Today, Turner's contribution to television enables individuals to gain access to breaking news as soon as after it occurs as possible through satellite streaming. We take for granted often that we have access to information on a live 24-hour basis. Finally, David Filo, along with his partner Jerry Yang, Contribute a lot, contributed a lot of information to mass media and the World Wide Web. In 1995, Philo and Yang collaborated together to develop the Yahoo Corporation and released their search engine in 1995. These two men realized that digital media, or electronic media using computer technology, was increasing in society and that good search capabilities were needed. Marissa Mayer reported as of 9-11-2013 as the CEO that, of Yahoo that Yahoo has 800 million users monthly across, across the globe and it has over 45 percent of the market in search engines similar to Google. Yahoo is a technology that is a current trend in dig digital mu media and one that most of us have used. Search engines make looking for relevant information easy and painless. Mass media has several different channels in which it is distributed. The men and women mentioned among others above contributed to their efforts to fueling mass media production so individuals today can learn from it and enjoy it.